Next, let's compare and contrast two of the most widely used active ingredients for satisfaction uh, in corn and soybean production today. Uh, those being glyphosate here on my right and glufosinate here on my left. Uh, the corn that I'm standing in is a conventional corn, so this has no uh, tolerance or resistance traits to either herbicides. And we can see that both plots have been, been impacted by the respective herbicide applications. Um, here on the right, we have the glyphosate. And because glyphosate is a systemic or translocated herbicide, you see one complete death of the plant as that herbicide was taken up by the leaves and then eventually translocated or moved up into the growing point at the top of the plant. Here on my left, we have the Liberty application. So Liberty or glufosinate is a contact herbicide. Uh, we see more of that characteristic uh, burning injury from a, a contact herbicide. And this is, uh, you know, even though it takes uh, a little bit, maybe a little bit longer to kill the plant, uh, we would have seen this uh, you know, shortly after application compared to the glyphosate, which takes a little bit longer to show up visually. Uh, moving ahead here, we have the Roundup Ready Extend soybeans. So these would be tolerant to both uh, dicamba as well as glyphosate. Um, here on the right, we have the glyphosate application, so the soybeans were unharmed, as would be expected. And on the left, again, we have the glufosinate uh, or Liberty application, where we have the burning or speckling from the, the contact herbicide application, and these will eventually die completely. And then finally, we have the Liberty Link soybeans. On my left, we have the glufosinate application, and the soybeans were unharmed, as would be expected. And then on the right, we have the glyphosate application, uh, where the soybeans are uh, you know, close to death or dead at this point. Uh, again, glyphosate is a, a systemic or translocated herbicide, uh, so we see that movement um, of the herbicide, particularly up into the new growth and new trifoliates, uh, which are 